Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. Today we are looking at this Cole Hahn bag that I recently thrifted um, for a really good price uh, that I'm going to clean up the exterior and the interior and the hardware so I can list it for sale on Mercari and Poshmark. So yeah, right now I'm just showing you the details of it. it has a front magnetic flap, uh, perfect for a phone. It's kind of a larger metallic looking bag and there's the handles, a little bit of wear. Uh, so I'm going to use some of my Apple Guard cleaner to clean it and condition it. It has these two side pockets, um, maybe a water bottle. I don't know. I don't know if a water bottle will fit in there, but it could. Looks like it could. It has that middle zipper pocket, but the interior is real pretty. Of It has a little detail ring on the both sides there. And on the inside, it has two slip pockets and a zipper pocket along with a key keeper, and I'm pointing out there's some ink marks on the leather as well. Uh, and then at the bottom, when I was there, I noticed this uh, purple ink spot, but, you know, it's on the inside. The outside's in beautiful condition. The leather's really nice. Cole Haan leather is nice. So, yep, this is what I'm going to be cleaning up. There's the little key keeper. And there's Cole Haan label. So if you're interested in seeing me clean this bag up and see what I do to get it up for resale, then you need to stay tuned. First thing, you'll need a washcloth, and there is my Apple Guard leather cleaner. And this is what I use for all my leather bags, especially pebbled leather. And just uh, get a little bit on your washcloth, microfiber cloth, whatever you want to use here, and just start cleaning each part of that leather. Because sometimes at those thrift stores, they can be a little odory, smelly, like musty smell. This will help with that as well. Getting the, you know, the leather condition cleaned, first of all, from the dirt. And then you want to get each part of the bag, the, the top, the straps, the back, get it all nice and clean for the next buyer. So I'm gonna I'm putting this in fast motion, but you get the idea. Clean, clean, clean that leather, even the little braid or the leather uh, zipper pull. And now I'm getting the bottom, I believe, a little more uh, cleaner. While I'm getting the cleaning done with the dirt clean off, uh, don't forget to hit that like subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications of my videos that I drop. I try to drop videos every three days with a few short videos in between. So, and if you have any questions on how I sell on Mercari or Poshmark or any of this cleaning instructions, then let me know. But yeah, these handles were kind of gross, so I'm going over them extra because they looked really dirty to me. So getting the inside cleaned pretty good. Not doing the zipper yet because I have something else for the hardware. And I have showed that before and I'll show you in a second. After you've let the cleaning solution dry, you'll want to get your conditioner on your washcloth and 
this is a really important step. You have to let that dry and then go on to condition it, which that's what I'm doing now because the conditioner helps from your leather from cracking. So you always kind of want to go over your bags probably once or twice a year, even your current collection, to get them conditioned so your leather bags stay in really good condition and no cracking. So that's important. So I'm just getting the whole bag conditioned at this point. And I will link my how to sell on Poshmark and Mercari. Uh, I'll add it to the link up above and I'll add it below in case you're wondering how that works because I've sold many, many bags. <laughs> so getting finished up on the conditioning now. And on to the next step. This is called Flitz Polish, and it's for, as it says, for metal. And I have used this a lot on my Louis Vuitton hardware. When it was green and tarnished, I used this Flitz, and it looks like it's brand new again. So, highly recommend Flitz. Uh, for your hardware on your purses. So yeah, just put it on a, a little cotton swab and try not to get it on the leather, but if you do it, you just wipe it off. It's no big deal. The hardware was not really that bad on this purse. I uh, just wanted to make sure I cleaned everything because when you're posting on to resell, you want it to look as good as possible and you also want to take the best pictures as possible or you won't make that quick sale so that's important I'm finishing up getting these side rings here and then the front flap ring really it wasn't that bad but you will see when I move on to the zipper how bad and tarnished these actually were. So I'm just cleaning up, you know, the area where I just put that flitz on, and then we're moving on to the zipper. And I'm adding a little more, and then you could see uh, it's not too bad, the, the cotton right now. But when I start cleaning this, you're going to see on this little pad here how dirty. Yeah, see? <laughs> How dirty a zipper really can get and how green and moldy and so yep this flitz works amazing as you can see so I'll finish getting this done quickly we're gonna get the inside of the bag get the zipper on there cleaned off with the flitz and also the key keeper hook. I went ahead and did that, even though it really didn't need it necessarily, but cleaning it anyway. So we'll get finished with all the hardware. And I'm going to get the inside of the zipper a little bit more by unzipping it here. Now we're going to clean the inside of the bag with water wipes. Um, they're 99.9% .9 water. Uh, so I also use those water wipes for uh, the Louis Vuitton canvas bags. Um, you just wipe your canvas off with those. And I've had zero damage um, with the water wipes. So yeah, I'm just cleaning the inside now of any dirt. Of course, I can't get that purple ink stain out but I'm getting it as shiny and clean as I possibly po possibly can so it is now shiny and ready to go now I gotta let that dry another little trick I use is these are dryer beads, um, and I put them in a little plastic bag and uh, let them get the smell out of the inside of the bag. So I use those little dryer beads, and then I've let the 
inside dry out. Now I'm going to stuff it with the dryer beads inside um, as well so I can get the, uh, it's a musty odor, um, so I'll get that out, get it all packed up, and I'll list it in a few days. And by the time this video drops, it should be on my Mercari and Poshmark. So there is my finished cleaning of my resale bag. What do you think? Uh, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that like. <laughs> Tell me what you think of my cleaning job and would you buy this bag? <laughs> and I'll show you to insert some pictures here at the end. There's the side. These are the pictures I use for my Mercari and Poshmark. And you have to get the sides, the bottom, the back, you know, everywhere. So people can't say, well, you didn't show me that ink mark or this shoulder strap doesn't look right. Um, so, yeah, it, I like to show everything or they'll send your purse back. So there is the finished product. And I do get a picture of the strap, which is a little damaged, but they know it when they buy it, just like that purple stain. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!